Do you think Oppenheimer was a hero for ending the war or a villain for unleashing nuclear destruction? In the heart of World War II, one man changed history forever. His name, J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. As the leader of the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer assembled the brightest minds to create a weapon unlike anything the world had ever seen. Years of work led to July 16, 1945, the first successful detonation of an atomic bomb. When Oppenheimer saw the explosion at the Trinity test, he knew that the world had changed forever. And that's when he said his famous quote, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. While he had initially been driven by scientific ambition and the urgency of war, he soon realized the devastating consequences of his work. This quote reveals his deep regret and recognition of the ethical implications of what he and his team had achieved. With Germany defeated, Japan refused to surrender. The US believed a ground invasion would cost millions of lives. Their solution? Drop the bomb. On August 6th and 9th, 1945, Hiroshima and Nagasaki were obliterated. Over 200,000 lives lost. Japan surrendered days later. Guilt weighed heavily on him. He spoke out against nuclear arms. And that's when things took a dark turn. It was the Cold War. Fear of Soviet spies ran wild. Oppenheimer had communist friends in the past, and he opposed building the even deadlier hydrogen bomb. The US government turned on him. In 1954, he was accused of being a Soviet spy and stripped of his security clearance. The man who built America's deadliest weapon was now branded a traitor but history remembers him as the man who unleashed the power of the atom and paid the ultimate price. In some sort of crude sense, which no vulgarity, no humor, no overstatement can quite extinguish, the physicists have known sin.